Hi, this is Azar Lawrence and George Cables coming to you from Jazz Academy. Uh, we want to welcome you and, and invite you to uh, listen to some music and uh, to our approaches to it. We're going to explain to you how we bring this composition to life. This composition is called My One and Only Love. Thank you. 
George plays so pretty, doesn't he? My one and only love. The main thing that I'm thinking when I'm playing this beautiful composition is that to really keep the melody close and not to get too far away from it when I'm improvising. To improvise is to expound on the melody and so since it's to uh, actually expound on the melody, you must keep the melody in there so that people recognize the song. The saxophone is like a vocalist. The saxophonist has to sing the melody and uh, rhythmically the scales, uh, it was still they were kind of subtle. They weren't uh, real heavy as far as uh, nothing Latin. So, <laughs> you know, different uh, type of minor and major and uh, a few diminished uh, scale and chord approaches to this song. Uh, George, what do you think? Well, uh, once again, uh, for me as a pianist, I um, try to support the soloist, Azar, and uh, also to, in, a, in a ballad, I try to breathe some life into the harmonies. Uh, there are harmonies that are written there, but I think sometimes you have to uh, see what they mean. Sometimes the harmonies that are written are uh, implying something that's maybe a little different or maybe more. So I, as a pianist, need to uh, try and interpret those chords, not just play them that are, that are written. For example, uh, on the bridge. The, what's written is, or what I play is, and try to get from one place to the next in a little smoother manner and maybe play some different colors to support Azar, to support the saxophone or the soloist, whoever's a soloist. So my role is to try, like I say, to breathe some life and, and colors into the harmony. I'll let the harmonies and colors take you in a smoother way from one place to the next. Oh, that's really wonderful. I was honored to, in the 70s, work with McCoy Tyner and uh, on his uh, album called Atlantis, he and I did uh, this as a duet. So we did uh, My One and Only Love as a duet and, you know, McCoy Tyner is uh, such a, a wonderful uh, provider of the support that George is talking about. Also, on the John Coltrane and Johnny Hart Hartman uh, CD, uh, you can also find My One and Only Love, and of course there is uh, John Coltrane working his magic along with the vocal stylings of Johnny Hartman, so you can really see how the saxophone uh, is a, a vocal projection instrument uh, along right next to the vocalist. So thanks again for uh, joining George Cables and Azar Lawrence, myself, here at Jazz Academy. Look forward to seeing you again. Thank you.